Then you'll be complete, my hypermetal Sonic, when you awaken. Kill him! <laughs> Long time no see, YouTubers. Mock Metal Sonic back here again, this time with another review. This time I'm going to be reviewing the Star Wars 2 pack um, for Boba Fett and a Stormtrooper. So I'll give you a look at the box. Side view, Boba Fett and the Stormtrooper. Watch Star Wars Rebels, it's actually a pretty good show. And here's the back of the box in case you want to read it. And then all the other figures that collect in a screenshot of episode 5. Anyways, with that being said, let's get on to the review. So, first, let's start off with the Stormtrooper. And it's just a Stormtrooper. And the details are quite nice, even though they're white. But, you know, they're always white in the movies and such. So, there's really no need for the details. So, head rotates 360 degrees. He comes with this little blaster. His arms rotate 360 degrees. They don't go in or out, so that's a bummer. And his legs go up and down. No knee articulation, so... As you can see, he's very limited in articulation, but hey, at least it's not... He's not wielding a lightsaber. It's just a gun, so that's much better. Then, okay, let's go ahead on with the meat, I think, of the... To Boba Fett... Because this figure they just put a lot of love on. And the reason why I have the jetpack separately is because of this. He loses balance. So, first, let's take a look at his jetpack. It's all green except for these two silver parts. And Boba Fett is really well detailed onto here. I mean, he has the Mandalorian symbol right there. He has um, his arm rocket, which is actually colored in, which I'm surprised. Um, he's got uh, like a battle damage to his helmet, like it could have been from a bullet or whatever. And he's got his, like, I don't know what you would call a cave or whatever. And yeah, so he's pretty well detailed. How about articulation? Well, sadly, it's the same as the Stormtrooper. Head rotates 360 degrees. Arms go up and down. He can really tight. Excuse me. And also, this blaster is really hard to get into his hand because of how the blaster and his hands are scu sculpted in. So, yeah. And his legs go up and down. So, yeah, this set has... Oh, great. Yeah, this set has two figures, and they're limited on articulation. But hey, at, le at least they don't have lightsabers, because lightsabers, you can actually, you know, pose them here. All you have to do is just stick up a blaster and bam. So, what, what are my score for this? What is my score for this set? Um... Well, I'd say it's a pretty good set, and so I'd give it an... 8 out of 10. So, the pros. The, um, Boba Fett is sculpted real nicely. We actually get a Boba Fett. Um, the jetpack is removable, but I'm pretty sure every other Boba Fett comes with that. Um, the Stormtrooper and Boba Fett are really well detailed. And the blasters are pretty cool. So, that's the pros. What are the cons? Well, pretty much just Boba Fett and the Stormtrooper. Both have limited articulation, so that's a con. Um, Boba Fett's hand and blaster is really sculpted, and the fact that the jetpack makes him back heavy. So if you want to make him stand, you gotta with the jetpack on, you gotta like make him lean on something or make him lean forward, which is just gonna look awkward as all hell. So the score would be. Oh wait, I already said the score. Never mind. Um, would I recommend this set? Mm. Not to collectors. I mean, if you're just looking for for a Boba Fett figure, um, for like your kid, that's fine. Fine, get it this. But I would really wouldn't recommend re recommend it for collectors. So yeah, that's about it. Mock Metal Sonic signing off.